Right, we're going to uh, brighten up your rather cold and dark afternoon now. Have you decorated uh, the outside of your house yet? Many of you have. However, I'm sure it won't be as good as my next guest because he's gone all out on lighting up his home this year in order to raise money for a water scheme in Gambia. We can speak now to Reverend Jonathan Blake, who's outside his home in Welling, South East London, where I'm sure every evening they have a bit of a power surge when these lights go on. Reverend, good afternoon to you. Hello, Sarah Jane. Um, so tell me about the idea behind this. You've been doing this for a number of years now. We've done it for 17 years, uh, but this last year we did it slightly differently because we wanted to be more hands-on involved. And I went out with my sons to the Gambia with Water for Africa, which is a lovely charity where all the money goes to the Gambia. And we went to the village where the money that we've raised has actually provided a solar-powered water pump this year. So absolutely marvellous. We raised £12,000 last year. Blimey. I would imagine that's almost as much as your lighting bill. How much does it take to how long does it take to put all of this together? Well, it's a period of over three weeks, really, and then about uh, 10 days to put them away. And then we have to watch over them during this month. So it's a two month commitment, but it gives so much pleasure and happiness to the children and the community and it raises the money for this fantastic cause. We just got the pictures back of the solar power pump installed, five standpipes around the village, clean, fresh water, which is just the beginning of a miraculous development for this very, very poor village out in the Gambia. And the pictures just came through when I was on the roof putting out the lights for this year, so I was thrilled to pieces. Oh, that's lovely. And in return, when you went to Gambia, did you take pictures of the house so you could show the children how that money was raised because I would imagine that would be very hard for them to get their head around what they, what's um, happening behind you. We did take pictures but I think you're right it was very hard for them to even conceive of it. We got some wonderful pictures ourselves and footage. The children were thrilled to pieces. They had absolutely nothing. Unimaginable conditions out on a mile, five mile dust track to actually get to the village and they had a, a very dirty well which they had to walk up to 10, 15, 20 miles for sometimes and the water wasn't actually hygienic. So this gives them fresh water, health, the wonder to have the ability to irrigate their crops, the time saved from actually walking to get the water can be put into employment. It's a whole new beginning for the village. And there were 900 villages, over 500 children. It's just a miracle come true for them. Oh, it's a beautiful story. So how exactly do you raise the money? Because obviously people are going to come from far and wide to see the house. Do they, do they make a donation? How does it work? Well, they can give a donation online on the Just Giving page, but a lot of people just come to the front door and put the money through the letterbox. We get these lovely little fingers of children pushing their five pences and ten pences and pounds through the, through the letterbox through the whole of December. And it's a wonderful sight. It brings such happiness to the people here. There are schools all around, so thousands of children come by. But having done it for 17 years, it's really the Christmas house, it's called, and mums were bringing their children last year who had been children themselves when they were first brought. So it's been uh, an ongoing thing, which is a very significant part of people's lives in this community. But then reaching out to the Gambia, it's this bridge between what we're doing here and then the ability to bring real development and happiness to the people of that village in Tyabanias. I'll tell you something, this Christmas spirit stuff is quite infectious, isn't it? You're talking to uh, to me, and in my ear, I've got a gallery full of hard-nosed journalists. And as you were talking there, they were all going, oh, that's so lovely. Uh, this really is, you know, the festive spirit. What do the neighbours make of it? Because obviously they have to deal with these bright lights for the whole month of December. Um, how are they with it all for the last 17 years? The neighbours have been absolutely wonderful. We are quite sensitive to them, so it goes on at four o'clock and then we normally turn them off about 10 o'clock so that we don't have noise in the night because that would be intolerable. So they've been really, really supportive. And we have a, a singing of carols and a snow machine on Christmas Eve at 4.30, so we get the whole pavement filled with people coming to enjoy and to celebrate that. Oh, that's lovely. And it's also good for the environment to switch them off at those hours as well. But I must admit, with all these people spending so much money going to all these big Christmas parties, Christmas fairs, UK Lapland, the likes of it, they can actually come to you, see it for free and, and donate some money. And, and you're there every evening, are you, to have a chat with people? 
Yeah, every night we're here because we have to look after the lights and change the bulbs and do the maintenance that's necessary. And we get a lot of support from the community, which is marvellous. Sometimes people come and actually give us lights because obviously they need to be replaced over the years. And I think they've been absolutely thrilled to see that this venture we've got with Water for Africa has brought real development to, to this village. And the marvellous thing is we met everybody out there. We met the staff who are going to actually implement the solar powered water pump saw everything that was going to happen, went to the place where they're going to buy the equipment, checked the budget, so everything was belt and brace, that we knew what we were doing here. Every penny that's put through our door goes out to the Gambia. We take no expenses, we pay for the, all the electricity ourselves, and it's just a wonderful community effort to bring love and joy, which is what Christmas is all about, not just to this community, but to this um, poor village in, in Africa, and now hopefully another village which will provide water for this, this, this coming year. Well, Reverend Jonathan Blake, thank you so much for talking to us, brightening up our afternoon and doing a lot of good work as well. We've been playing a bit of Christmas bingo with the lights in the background. I can see Santa, three wise men, presents, there's an angel, there's some holly, a Christmas tree as well. You've got the whole lot there. Uh, enjoy it and, um, wow, plenty more visitors going before Christmas. <laughs>